Hey everybody, Hank with DevNet here with a quick update on a brand new sandbox available in the catalog today, the ACI and Kubernetes integration sandbox. When you reserve an instance of this sandbox, you're given access to the ACI fabric, as well as four hosts on which to build and manage your, your Kubernetes cluster. You'll have a dev box that'll act as your development environment to deploy all of the elements necessary for this setup, as well as Kubernetes 01, 02, and 03 to provide your master and two nodes. To go along with this sandbox, we put together a GitHub repo that has all the readme and resource information necessary to understand exactly what it is you're building when you do this integration. And to get you started fast, the Quick Start Guide will walk you through the quickest way to install Kubernetes and then integrate it using the ACI CNI plugin. Once you've gone through and done the configuration and, and setup, you'll have your ACI fabric inside of the tenant configured with the policies necessary to integrate your Kubernetes applications all the way into the ACI policies. For example, when you go through, you'll be able to have visibility right down to the pod level for deployed applications. We can see here I've got several applications deployed into my Kubernetes cluster, and those pods show up directly here. Now, in addition to seeing the pods show up inside of your EPGs and being able to build contracts and policies to segment your applications as desired, by integrating Kubernetes with the ACI CNI plugin, ACI can provide the load balancing services using policy-based routing. For example, if we take a look here, we can see the services that are deployed inside of my cluster. These external IPs are the ones that will be policy-based routed by the ACI fabric. If I flip back here to the ACI fabric and we take a look at the external load balancing services, we can see the indications of my services here, front end, the UI, and the application or the API tier with those subnets that are policy-based routed back into the pods as it goes through. Well, that's it. I just wanted to give a quick update on this brand new and exciting sandbox that we've just added to the catalog. Now, the sandbox and the quick start guides are great ways to get started right away, but keep your eyes open for additional blog posts, learning labs, and even webinars and workshops taking advantage of these new resources to dive deeper into the Kubernetes ACI integration. If you've got any suggestions for future ones, please let me know. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.